What up, guys? Your boy Quake, and uh, let's get into the track, Toby. I want to talk about, you know, did Eminem potentially diss Jay-Z? That's what's been going on around the cycle on the internet because of some bars on the track. Now, if you don't remember, Billboard released a list a while ago about the top 50 rappers, and they had Jay-Z at the number one spot, and they had Eminem at... Um, the I believe the number fifth spot. Let's go over this list here. So yeah, that Jay Z at number one, Kendrick Lamar at number two, Nas at three, Tupac Shakur at four, and then Eminem at number five. Now also Apple Music released their top hundred albums of all time, and they had Eminem somewhere ranking like the eighties or seventies, and then that Jay Z's Blueprint like number thirteen, which was astronomically ridiculous. Uh, Blueprint does not have that much pull in music that they're saying. Let's just Let's just keep it blunt. Is Blueprint a great album? Yes. Does it deserve to be on that list of 100 albums? Yes. I could even argue it deserves to be top 50, right? On the list. You could argue that. But number 13 above like literally almost every single hip-hop album that's ever existed? Fuck no in a million years. I'm not going to get into that, but yeah. So when Billboard released this list, they had Eminem at number five. Um, with Tupac Shakur being ahead of him. Nas, Kendrick Lamar, and Jay-Z. Which I don't think... You know, shout out to Kendrick, but I don't think he should have been that high either. But, hey, this is their opinion on it, right? Um, so Eminem on the Toby track wrapped some interesting bars. And I think because of the things he said here, a lot of people pointed it towards Jay-Z. And I can see why. So let's go over what the bars are. Spit fire, bitch. I was just flying coach. Y'all thought you were sick. You were misdiagnosed. I'm dope, and you'll never have this high a dose. Now, this is where the bars, people were wondering what's going on here. Now my estate's in the building, and bitch, I done slept on more floors than the Empire State Building. Jay-Z has a song called Empire uh, State of Mind. So people were saying, because Jay-Z has a song called Empire State of Mind, and Jay-Z was number one on the list on the Billboard Hot 100, or not well, Hot 100, but the Billboard's Top 50 Rappers list, People were speculating that Eminem was taking shots at him because of these other lines as well. So let me continue. I got so many stories, but I hate ceilings. Ain't feeling your top five favorite rappers. So I know they're about to be pissed at me. But this to me is a mystery. How rappers I've already ripped could be higher up on a list than me. He could be referring to the time that you know, he did a song with Jay-Z on Renegade. And for the most part, if you ask somebody who was the better artist on Renegade, for the most part, people will say Eminem. Now, there are people that say Jay-Z as well. I'm not saying that. But I think if you had to put in percentages, probably say 60% say Eminem, 40% Jay-Z, or maybe 70% Eminem, 30% Jay-Z. I go with Eminem, but Jay-Z's bars were astronomical. They both painted a picture from two different worlds, which I loved. So people were saying, you know, hey, He's, he's done a track with Jay-Z. A lot of people saying he ripped Jay-Z on that track, so maybe he's referring to Jay-Z on here. Then he said this. He said, how rappers I've already ripped could be higher up on the list than me. Yet, here I sit on your list, though, at five, which still is fine, but just know inside to me that shit's hilarious. So when I get dissed, though, by and by a pioneer who is one of the reasons why I'm here, they tell me, should I just let that shit go and slide? Melly Mel shouldn't get no reply. Why? The man is a legend. Bitch, so am I. He talks about Melly Mel about like, hey, when people shit on me about the list, you know, because Melly Mel was talking about Eminem shouldn't be that high on the list. We've done a lot of legend. You know, Melly Mel talked about all that stuff, and then that's why the whole battle started once again. Um, and then they give, you know, they basically say that it's because Eminem's white. He's on that list. That's the only reason, which is a dumb I'll never understand that argument because there's been so many white rappers that have never been this successful as Eminem. So that argument now here that would make a good argument if every white rap, rap whoa, every white rapper was successful in hip hop. That would make a good argument. Then then you could say okay he's only on this list because he's white. But a lot of white rappers have failed. Uh, Asher Roth came out failed. Vanilla Ice came out did his thing failed in terms of music but you know he's, he's good with doing his life right now uh, mac miller was a dope white rapper that i believe could have gone really far but end, ended up unfortunately passing away um paul wall 
Great rapper, never really made it to the levels of Eminem. Bubba Sparks, I like some of his tracks, great tracks here and there. Even he was even the they even looked at Bubba Sparks as the 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 second version of Eminem because he was teaming up with Timbaland. So you know how Eminem had Dr. Dre, Bubba Sparks had Timbaland. People were looking at him like that, but he never succeeded like Eminem. Um, who more white rappers man off the top of my head? Whatever you get the kind of point. Most white rappers did not succeed in hip hop. Let's just be honest here. You know, you got Jack Harlow now, which is kind of a mix of hip hop and pop because he's dropping these records that are just straight pop records. And then you had Mac Miller at a certain point was doing his thing, but unfortunately passed away. But in the history of white rappers, eh, not really much out there. So that argument never made sense to me. But uh, interesting bars, man. I think I think he is somewhat poking at uh, Jay-Z here because it's not even the Empire State of Mind, the Empire State Bars. It's because when he said the Empire State Bars and then followed that up with, I already ripped, you know, how could rappers I've ripped be ahead of me? Meaning, how could I, how could this guy that I destroyed in a track together be ahead of me? Now, my question is, does Jay-Z listen to this and take it as a subliminal diss towards him? Because Jay-Z is the subliminal king. I felt... He's kind of, you know, and people are arguing with me about this, but I feel like he's kind of ruined hip-hop with the subliminal stuff because now that's all artists do. I felt like, you know, before Jay-Z, yeah, artists were subliminally dissed, but it wouldn't be to the level that they do now. I felt like Jay-Z made that really, really cool, and then it became a thing. Now, before Jay-Z were artists subliminally dissing it, yes, they were subliminally dissing before. But after Jay-Z, it just became a whole level of subliminally dissing that I hate. I can't stand it, man. If you got a problem with somebody, just say it. Um, and Eminem usually does that. So here, you know, could it be a diss at Jay-Z? Yeah, but usually Eminem is, goes directly at something. But why would he go directly at Jay-Z? That has nothing to, like, it's not Jay-Z's fault he's number one. I think he's going more at the critics saying, you guys are stupid. I ripped this guy on a track, which can still be a diss towards Jay-Z because he's saying, I destroyed him on this track, and yet I'm below this guy. It makes no sense. Um, but, yeah, we'll see. Will Jay-Z take this as an actual diss? I don't know. I personally, this would help. Listen, if this happens, if this somehow this battle happens, right? You know, people are going to be like, oh, they're too old. They shouldn't battle. I think they should. It doesn't matter. I don't think about age. If you're still active in hip hop, which Jay-Z, yeah, he hasn't released a solo album in a minute, but he's still here and there dropping tracks that a lot of people consider are really good. The feature verses that he does. People hail them as some of the, whenever he hops on a track, they're like, oh, it's the verse of the year, blah, blah, blah. So they still look at him as a top tier artist. Eminem as well. Drops albums, still does numbers, still does momentum. He just dropped Houdini, number two track on Billboard Hot 100, did his thing, right? And still breaking records on streaming platforms. So they're still relevant in hip-hop. They're just more relevant to an older generation, which would still, it would still be entertaining. And this would help Eminem's career, though, more than Jay-Z's. Because Eminem hasn't had that, that type of battle before. He hasn't. He's battled Mariah Carey, Nick Cannon, Cannabis, which is lyrically there, but star power, nowhere near there. Um, you know, Machine Gun Kelly was probably the closest thing where it was like, okay, there's a battle that can potentially happen that would really be big. Um, and that's not even close to Eminem. Machine Gun Kelly's like nowhere near Eminem. So I think Eminem, this would be something that Eminem should. Maybe it, maybe this Kate, Drake and Kendrick thing sparked Eminem to, to try and get a competition going with Jay-Z. I think that would be beautiful. I would think that would be one of the, Best battles ever. And I want to get violent. These two are too old, to, to, too mature to, to have that happen. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think it was actual this towards Jay-Z? And will Jay-Z, you know, maybe in a feature verse or something, respond? Ironically, the Toby track is 4 minutes and 44 seconds long. Which, obviously, if you guys remember, Jay-Z's last solo album was 444. So maybe it's, you know, that's the kind of troll in Eminem's uh, thing. But I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I, I would love, love for a battle to happen off this. That would be the greatest thing, I think, in hip-hop. I think it would be better than Drake and Kendrick Lamar. I'm not even going to lie to y'all, man. Uh, Eminem and Jay-Z just got, like, levels that, and they just have bigger audiences. Actually, I don't know. You could Eminem does. Obviously, he's the biggest selling rapper, period. But Jay-Z, you know, you could argue he's about as big as, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not going to fucking 
guess on that. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think on that. I, I'm really, really curious to see what happens uh, moving forward. That's it for today's video. If you guys want to support this channel further, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash diverse mentality. For just $3 a month, you can get my videos uncut and raw the way I intended them to be, but couldn't because of YouTube. Plus, you also get access to our Discord community, where we have a great community talking about hip hop and various other things. It's very dope. So only $3 a month, I'd really appreciate the support. Also follow us on social media at QuakeGW and at Diverse Mentality. Thank you so much for the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.